let's check it out here. Here they are. The beautiful Jackson Pollock. I love him so, so, so much. He's so hot. Rub his face on his face. Ugh. <laughs> it's a cracks me up. Uh, all right. Let's see here. So you're mentioning that with the rigs being a bit larger, a lot of the movements all seem a bit too fast. Sure. This guy, potentially. This probably, I'd be careful with just how you get up. She goes down and it's, it's a bit simple in terms of this one shape just goes up with not enough a breakdown between these. I think you can. I think she's so into this that she will go down here to adjust, and by here ish, the head will be back up. So she's trying to look at it, uh, you know, all the time. She doesn't want to miss any frames. So you would lead with the head up and then readjust into this pose. And then probably instead of. I love this here. I love the offset and I love how you get into this. I would just lead and then potentially just maybe push push it a bit more in terms of the offset. And she might, not that she's do like a crazy sideways arc, you know, swing into it, that would be too animated, but something that kind of breaks up the one axis rotation back, that seems a bit simple. That probably a bit fast, but the same thing in terms of the mechanics. There's something that just feels you know, a bit stiff. How I know she's bending over through here, but it just seems like it's everything is moving at once and stopping at once. It's ever so slightly pose to pose. I know fists come in first and the head overlaps and everything, but there's something where besides the offset on these guys and them coming up at the same time, it might already help to really offset these and again to uh, you know as you offset it will have that type of effect of head will be slightly tilted that because of one arm offset the chest will be slightly rotated maybe that will be enough in terms of complexities uh, careful when you do something like this where it feels a bit too stiff through here with all the like both of her arms moving I see some movement in here but and you mentioned something about the head being uh, slightly off so that would definitely help but the main feeling that I have here is that there's so much going on in her arms it, that doesn't really affect the chest nor the head. I think she would go up into here and as she does this, I like that her head gets into this pose, but if there's anything you can do at the same time to potentially shift the weight in here a little bit, a bit more complexity in the chest, just ever so slightly. There, that feels just the, where her arms are kind of moving separately. Whoa. <laughs> Careful here. Yeah, this is gonna. This is gonna be fast. Again, it. The, re the reason why I'm mentioning this, I mean, you're mentioning it as well, but if you do this, right, and I don't mind being it, I don't mind that, the speed of it, just be careful how you stop, and you are easing in, and as long as you do this with, are they completely connected there, or is she push pushing her head first, that might just be always connected, but maybe there's some more drag in them, because what is she doing here, she's trying, um, on the head going down, and then just enough drag overlap overshoot there in the head you know just a little moments where you can have proper mechanics so that it kind of we kind of buy the, the physics it's like if spider-man would be jumping really really fast really far away when when he lands like there needs to be some momentum where it doesn't just stop on a dime like arms and legs just some some overshoot just to help that the momentum is not stopping right away and this is cool here I mean I don't mind like a stretch there, yeah. Just make sure that when you stretch through here, that there is probably some rotation away from us with the head, so it doesn't feel like it's just a translate through here. It's like there's no rotational change through all of this, making this a bit 
broken on top of the stretch. So if at this point, you know, you start here, here-ish, right? And then by that time you're here, the nose will be a bit lower and tilted away from us to her right. The drop is so much better. It's up here. Yeah, it's so great. Oh, that she rolls over at the end there. <laughs> that all we see is her. Just careful what you're going to do with um, her glasses, right? As, as you hold them, but then you go through. I mean, this could be a good moment when you do this. That then her glasses are actually up the other way. They're kind of almost off her face. And then, boom, as she comes back down, they clack down into what you have here. With a little bounce. Good little detail there. Whoa, sound. Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, I'm not... I'm not too crazy about the fast speed on a mine. Just as long as it's not stuff like this, where it's just one big piece. Body-wise, that moves up and just proper overshoot when you have quick moves that so we can kind of buy the momentum, stop and change. Then I think it's going to be cool. Then I'm watching sorry, her knees. That will be tricky. Uh, I don't mind some squishiness in there. Just make sure it's not too wobbly once you go into the full out spline there. Just for more some contact, you know, stuff like this here, which I know is a pain in the butt. Other than that, her friend. <laughs> I like the look here. There might be something when you go up and she looks. What is she doing here? She is looking up. Huh? If you do this, we're going, what's going on? There might be, you know, maybe some more tension in the shoulders. What? And then as she looks up here, like maybe, maybe drop again, like really? Like through here, maybe she drops her shoulders again, like really. And then <laughs> okay, do this, and I love this. Careful with her arm. This looks like an IK arm. So once you spline this, do not have those sticky arms. Let's watch out. This was a bit broken. Pointing this way, but then this way, you can probably straighten out that foot. Which will probably give you more room, maybe even lower it a bit more, which gives us some more room for this leg to come more towards us. Um, so it's not always kind of in the same position there. So you can move that, that foot IK there. That's about it. It's all very cool. I love it. Uh, I think the scale change is so much better. It doesn't feel so really creepy anymore. I buy all of that. Um, and that's about it. All right. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.